C-Scope cable avoidance tools have four detection modes to select from. Each mode provides specific advantages, and any full survey should utilize all of these modes to offer the best chance of detecting as many metal pipes and cables as it is possible to detect. Theory of the power mode. When used in power mode, C-Scope cable avoidance tools detect the signal that is created by electrical alternating current being present on a conductor. These power signals will most often be detected coming from live electricity cables, but they may also be present on other conductors such as metal, gas and water pipes, telecom cables and even railway tracks. Limitations of power mode While these power signals are present in all current carrying cables, not all are locatable. For example, if the cable is too deeply buried or the current on it isn't great enough to provide a detectable signal. Furthermore, cables that are live but not carrying current such as street lighting cables, supply cables to buildings using no or very little electricity and pot-ended cables may also not be located and some high voltage cables that are electrically well balanced might not be producing a detectable power signal. Please refer to the locator's instruction manual for a comprehensive list of pipes and cables that may not be detected on the power mode of detection. Carrying out a power mode search. It is important to always carry out any search for buried pipes and cables in a methodical and organized manner so that none are left undetected that could have been detected. The entire process is always broken down into three distinct stages. Searching for signals, pinpointing signals, Tracing signal routes. Searching for signals. Select the power mode using the mode selector switch and rotate the sensitivity control fully clockwise for maximum sensitivity. Press and hold the on off trigger. The display will show the power mode icon and battery condition indicator. Slowly walk from one side of the area to be surveyed to the other, holding the locator perpendicular to the ground at all times. Ideally, the locator blade needs to be orientated at right angles to the cables to be detected, but it can cross at a lesser angle and still detect their signal. It is only if the blade is exactly parallel to the buried cable that it may not detect a power signal. Take care not to swing the blade when scanning, but keep it close to your side, pointing directly down. The locator will give an audible and visible response when a power signal is detected. Pinpointing signals When an area of signal has been detected, it is now necessary to pinpoint the exact position of the signal source. This is done by moving the locator all the way through the area of signal and carefully turning down the sensitivity setting of the locator to reduce this area of signal until a clear peak position is seen on the locator's display. The ideal position for this peak response would be approximately mid-scale on the display. Once a peak signal has been accurately pinpointed, mark the location. Tracing signal routes Carefully follow the signal by slicing the locator through the area of signal so that the peak response is clearly indicated each time. This is best done at a slow walking pace. Mark the position of the peak response very regularly to define the exact route the cable is taking. To search for power signals present on cables positioned at right angles to the line of those already detected, it will be necessary to repeat this three-stage process, but this time crossing the survey area in the opposite direction. Please note that it is important to scan a site in all operating modes, not just the power mode, to ensure a complete survey. For more information on our full range of cable avoidance tools, contact C-Scope International or visit our website.